A two-day workshop for teachers, which was hosted by the Ministry of Education at the St. Aloysius Primary School, concluded earlier today. More details from Narima Ali. Earlier today, the two-day Special Education Needs and Disability Workshop concluded at the St. Aloysius Primary School. This workshop was an initiative taken by the Region 6 Department of Education, Special Needs Department, and it targeted teachers throughout Region 6 in both primary and secondary schools. Education Officer Ms. Holga Fraser shared more details about the purpose of this workshop. It's a teaching methodology workshop wherein we teach teachers the various strategies that they can use to help the learners with special education needs and disabilities in their classrooms. So yesterday, um, we basically reviewed what the special education needs with, with them. We did activities to bring out same. We had presentations on mind mapping, what's a mind map and how they can use it in their classrooms. Mr. Wainwright McIntosh, who is also a special education needs education officer, explained why this workshop was executed at this point in time. With careful planning, we will see our um, pupils, our students with learning difficulties, learning challenges, um, being guided and um, during the curriculum delivery process. And for those pupils, students, um, maximum benefits will be derived. Actually, it's tailoring instruction uh, to suit or to meet the pupils at their level. Our teachers find challenges dealing with our children uh, with ADHD. Now, this workshop would have enlightened our teachers with um, ways and means, strategies uh, that would help them to better address behavioral issues um, at the level of the school and the class. Channel 8 News spoke with a few of the participants from the workshop and they shared their experiences. I am Miss Samantha Clark, probably representing Burbies High School here. Uh, representing the secondary school teachers, which are we a few of us are here, but most of we also have primary school teachers here too. We, when we look at the videos, and we saw how these little kids are actually speaking to us when they cannot write, uh, uh, and so forth. We understand that they are special needs, so we need to have instruction where we place specific emphasis on special needs education to cater for the varying needs of students. So it helps us to empathize, it helps us to be more understanding, and more so we are better able to equip ourselves with the right strategies to meet the varying needs of students in the classroom. First of all, good afternoon. My name is Mr. Ray Jonas. I am attached to the Eversham Primary School as a senior master there. I have learned a lot for the two days. It, they have been way more than I have expected. Um, we have learned of how we can deal with children having special needs in our classroom in terms of how we can plan to cater for their individual needs so that every pupil can be gaining fully occupied and be inclusive in the classroom activities all right um, I trust that all the persons represented here representing the varying schools are going to take back what was learned in their classroom so that we can better cater for the needs of our pupils that are interested in our care a similar workshop was executed two weeks ago for the nursery school teachers in the region and this workshop followed immediately after. Teachers in all of the nursery, primary and secondary schools are now equipped with the knowledge and skills on how to disseminate their school curriculum to students with special education needs. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.